Okay, so I could not find any information on this. I know his instructions are very detailed, mostly on um, just the computer designs and everything. I mean, we've got 30 some pages of how to set up your boost and everything. So I'm going to try to do an install of what I've learned from the AMS 2000. Uh, first off, I just decided I have a big trunk, so I'm going to hide it in there. And uh, I took a couple wires that I won't need, so I just cut them short. I'm going to shrink wrap them. Ended up running through the trunk, and I'll end up putting some shielding and whatnot on there. Now, the two easy ones were basically the connections for the um, solenoids. So I ran those up along here on the frame. Now, right now they're loose, but um, I will end up trying to run around the frame in front of the motor. One of them connects to this solenoid, which I mounted. This one controls my blow-off valve. This one will be for the wastegate. Uh, this one doesn't come in the kit. That actually came with my turbo kit. I will run a CO2 line to this and end up going to the wastegate in order to control the uh, PSI. The other one, there is, da, 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 here we go, another connector that I soldered in. This connects to the wastegate down here and controls when it opens and closes, things like that. Now what I had to do was I went into my Hayabusa manual and I looked at this diagram. There was a couple things, luckily it says exactly what it is. Um, and I ended up connecting the orange and white wire into my harness. Uh, soldered them, shrink wrapped them with marine glued um, shrink wrap. There's a black one for a ground over here. And he labels it all by number, which makes it somewhat easy. It's just, again, it's a little generic, so I had to figure out which ones I had, which ones I didn't. Uh, and Sebastian's been a great help for uh, figuring this out, because I like to see instructions and pictures, and unfortunately, this is kind of a one-size-fits-all type of a thing. Um, but... Anyway, so I went over to this and basically counted all the different pins, found the correct wires that matched up. I believe like this TPS sensor number eight is the one I hooked into. Um, next will be, I have to connect a brown wire to my shift sensor and that will give the signal for every time I shift up and down uh, what the boost should be at, depending on what I set it to be. Uh, I am, let's see, he said connect the purple wire to a switch that will basically control when I can upload a program to this thing. And I have to shift it off for it to communicate with my ECU. Uh, that was the complicated part that I didn't understand. But I think I get it now. Uh, I will also run this black wire, it's called a scramble wire, up into, I have an MPS racing button switch that will hang about here, and I will pre-program a certain amount of boost when I hit that button to be over my target PSI of what I'm normally running. Basically kind of like an oh shit kind of mode. Uh, that's where I'm at. I can't wait to get it running. I hope... I did everything correctly because I don't feel like dying and uh, yeah we're slowly getting there hopefully we'll clean it up get some of the wires I ended up getting rid of some of my cheap wiring soldering everything um, I'm working on my LED kit now I've got my horn relay in with horn uh, ended up just running wires directly back to the battery. Yeah, it's been about it. Just freezing in the garage and going from there. And also mounted this guy. We'll see how that works there. It should be somewhat out of the way. I just got to leave some slack on the line so that way uh, when I'm turning it doesn't affect it. Let me know if you have any questions.